everyone. My name is Maria, and I am grade 6 at Harmash Sash School. My name is Kukik, and I am in grade 6 at Praya Mahabura City School. Today, we are going to read the Native American myth, Hair and the Hummingbird. Let's enjoy the story. Hair and the Hummingbird were very good friends, even though one was tall and gangly and awkward, and one was small and sleek and fast. They both loved to eat fish. The hummingbird preferred small fish like minnows, and hair like the large ones. One day, hummingbird said to his friend, I am not sure there are enough fish in the world for both of our kind to eat. Why don't we have a race to see? We shall first treat all the fish. Harry thought that was a very good idea. They decided that they would rest for four days. The finish line was an old dead tree next to a fiery river. Whichever of them sat on the top of the tree first, on the fourth day of the race, would own all the fish in the world. They started out the next morning. The hummingbird zipped along, flying around and around Harry who was moving steadily forward, flapping his giant wings. Then, hummingbird would be distracted by the breathing flowers along the way. He would flit from one to the other, testing the nectar. When hummingbird noticed that Karen was ahead of him, he hurried to catch up with him, zooming ahead as fast as he could, and leaving Karen far behind. Karen just kept flying steadily forward, Flapping his giant wings, Hummingbird was tired from all his splitting. When it got dark, he decided to rest. He found a nice spot perched and slept all night long. But Heron just kept flying steadily forward all night long, flapping his giant wings. When Hummingbird woke in the morning, Heron was far ahead. Hummingbird had to fly as fast as he could to catch up. He zoomed past the big awkward heron and kept going until heron had disappeared behind him. Then, Hummingbird noticed some pretty flowers nearby. He zipped it over them and tested their nature. He was enjoying with the pretty, with the pretty scenery and he noticed heron flapping past him with his great wings. Hummingbird finally remembered that he was racing with Heron and flew as fast as he could to catch up with the big awkward bird. Then he zipped along, flying around and around the Heron, who kept moving sanely forward, flapping his giant wings. For two more days, the Hummingbird and Heron raced toward the furthest river bank with the dead tree. That was the finish line. Hummingbird had a marvelous time, sipping nectar and flitting among the flowers, and resting himself at night. Heron stoically kept up a steady flap flap flapping of his giant wings, propelling himself forward through the air all day and all night. Hummingbird woke from his sleep the morning of the fourth day, refreshed and invigorated. He flew zip zip toward the river bank with a dead tree. When it came into view, he saw Heron perched at the top of the tree. Heron had won the race by flying straight and sailing through the night while Hummingbird slept. So, from the day forward, the Heron has caught all the fish in the rivers and lakes, and the Hummingbird has it from the nectar of the many flowers, which he enjoyed so much during the race. Thank you.